right, so I know I'm looking crazy right now. Have y'all ever had one of them days where you just don't feel pretty, feel bad, and you just don't want to get up and do anything? Yeah, that's me today. So I got this wig sitting on my head because I haven't decided how I want to style it, but I just was like, I'm going to start filming and just go with the flow and see where it goes. This wig comes from AF Sister Wig. Um, it is a super free plug 13 by 6 um, wig, 20 inches and 150% density. Now I debated today if I wanted to glue this wig down with actual wig adhesive or just use the sprays that I normally do. <laughs> the only reason I don't like using wig glues on my wigs is because I feel like it do damage the hairline over time trying to rub all that glue off. Whereas the adhesive sprays, they are easier to get off the lace with a little bit of water. So already I love the color of this wig. It's really pretty. I'm just push this hairline back so y'all can see what it looked like. This is really nice. I didn't think I would like this color, to be honest. I took it out the box, I washed it, I bleached the knots, and I was looking at it and I was like, um, I don't know how it's gonna look on me. But just trying it on right now, I like it. And I, I absolutely love a wig that looks good with no makeup too. Like I think it's important for whatever wig you're wearing that it look good, not only with makeup, but without makeup. It's something about the colors like this that make you look younger too. If you wear dark colors all the time and you feel like it make you look older, try some lighter colors. I feel like it'll make the youth come out of you. So as you guys can see the lace, oh, what lace is this? I mean, it looks like just the regular lace, not the thick, thick lace, but it's a little bit thinner than the regular lace, but it does have that light tint to it. So if you are darker than me, you may want to tint it. And if you don't know what to use for lace tint, um, I have like these right here. They're called the True Match Lace Conceal. It goes from tan to the darkest color. So if you need to make the lace, you know, melt with your forehead complexion, these are really good for that. I probably will use these later on. Um, you guys will see later on, because I definitely need it. <laughs> You know, the number one question I get is the ear tab cutting. One of you asked me why I never just do like installs with the lace already cut. Do you all know how many times people ask me about how to cut ear tab areas? And do you all know that I actually have a full dedicated video talking about that? So that's why I try to show it a little bit in all my videos. However, I think I'm gonna just put that video in the description box. I need to just permanently link it there in the description box so that It'll be there if you all need the extra help because I, I swear I get this question about the ear tab area. So that video will be linked in the description box if you want more details on how to do that. You know what? I think I really like the way this looks right now. The thing about wig adhesive sprays and wig glues is I do feel like they make the hairline stick and lay a certain way that I don't feel like is 100% natural looking. Um, if you guys seen my previous video that I did with the ombre, I think it was like a, what was it, like an auburn orange color hair. I would pop it out right here. I use actually just this right here, this wig grip for that wig. And I feel like the hairline looked so realistic like it do right now. It just did not look like hairs was stuck down. It just looked natural and I kind of want that look today. Now the thing about this band here is I feel like, for me I have like a sensitive head. My head is sensitive to anything that's too tight. It's not extremely tight, however it does have that good grip around the head that I feel like maybe after a few hours you'll be like, okay I need to take this off. They should make these in sizes. They should, they should make them in head sizes. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the wig adhesive spray. I'm just gonna glue it down with the Melt Me Down lace holding spray. That's my final decision. <laughs> what I did is pushed all the hair back to make sure. I'm gonna try to get this as clean as possible. I really want to keep the look that I have going on right now with the hairline. So I smoothed all the hair back. So I'm just gonna flip this. I want it right here. This is where I want my hairline to fall. I'm just gonna flip this like so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Let me put the slits in here first. Slits. 
Oh, and my dryer that I use, everyone keeps asking me about this dryer. I have every product that I use regularly linked to my Amazon link below the video. Click the link that says Amazon favorites or all the products are in this link. You will see everything, even this dryer down in them links, okay? I put everything in one link so that you all won't have to click from link to link to link. You can just see everything on one page if you just take the time to click that one link in the description box. <laughs> all right, go ahead and pull that back down like so. And I don't even think I'm going to press the lace down with my hands or anything. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just put the sleigh band over top and let the sleigh band do, the, do what it do, okay? These little straight hairs just wanna go all over the place. Make sure they're out the way. Make sure the hairline is where I want it to be. I think it is. I'm just, you wanna do this before the glue dry too. You don't want it to be completely dry. And I'm gonna take my softer sleigh band, I'm gonna take this one today and put it as tight as possible. And this one will be linked in the description box. Also, if you guys want it, it's very comfortable. And I normally don't use this one for installs, but I wanna see how it's gonna do. I usually use this one to maintain my hairline throughout the day. All right, so this is what the hairline looks like after I remove the band. I'm going to try something di different. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and it is damp and I'm just gonna go over the hairline to clean up any white residue. Um, the problem with this spray is if you put too much water on the hairline, it's going to just lift. So I think the sponge is actually a great idea. And of course I'm gonna wash it before I put it on my face. <laughs> but I'm just cleaning up the residue and it actually works pretty good. This is actually a good hack here. Like it's working really good. Like I never thought about this until today, but this actually, I like, I like it, I like it. But you can see how that hairline is kind of plastered like, <laughs> but I'm gonna fix all that. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I wanted to try something else. I want to also try this little brush and I'm scared to do this because I don't want the wig he's spray to flake up on me, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take this brush and I am going to lightly just go like this to see if I can pull the hairs out of that adhesive so I can get that look that I had at the beginning. Flaking just a little bit, but I think I can just brush that out too. I may be on to something here. I think this is a new hack. <laughs> Don't do it too hard though, because with this brush, it does, I notice it's pulling out a little bit of the hairline. So just be gentle with it when you do it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add some curls. I'm going to use this one curler here. Try to keep a very natural flow. So I'm not doing anything too tight. Hopefully it falls the way I want it to fall. If you want this wig, it will be linked below in the description box. I suggest you guys jump on it while it's still like new because um, things change after time, over time, you know, or it sells out, so. Because I'm using such a big pieces, I might need to take some hairspray. I'm gonna use the Argan Oil of Morocco spray that I talked about yesterday. Oh, and you can't part this wig anywhere on the lace. You do get parting wherever you wanna part it. You guys, look at that parting. Perfect, okay? Just perfect. And like I said, I did bleach the knots, so it's going to look even better when you bleach the knots. And if you don't know how, yes, you can use the sprays, the lace tints, to get the look that you're desiring. So while I love what's going on right now, I do feel like it's some areas where, I don't know, you guys probably know what I'm talking about though. The lace kind of, you can see it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna create baby hairs, but most likely what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some edges down, go like that. 
And when I do that, it kind of creates a natural fall of the edges. Yeah, so that hack actually worked. Taking that brush and also just going through the hairline definitely gave me the look I was going for when it comes to how natural I wanted the hairline to look. The only problem I find is, of course, the wig adhesive sprays give you that, sometimes you get shine residue. <sighs> so annoying, but it'll go away after a day or so. You know, just keep tying down your hairline. But this looks so good. It turned out so beautiful. And I can't wait till these waves fall just a little bit more so it can look less created and more natural. But yeah, I love this style. It It is beautiful. So I will be sure to put this wig below in the description box. Be sure to check down there. Everything will be linked. I will also put a discount code and I will also put the products that I use in today's video in the Amazon link. So make sure you are looking in the description box below the video. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. And I will see you all tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Be sure to thumbs up the video and share it if you would like to support my channel. And drop me a comment and tell me what you think about today's tip. I will see you all back 